Next, I'd like to introduce to you that we have established a national task force line, I'm sorry, a national hotline that I would like to invite the public to call if they have any information that pertains to this. Now, I would ask the public to please be judicious and make sure that even though if it's small, send it to us. Please do not send us things that uh, are obviously not pertinent to this matter because we've got a lot of work to do in the future. But if you think in any form or fashion what you have to offer pertains to this matter, please call us and give us that information. It's important. That number is 1-800-CALL-FBI or 1-800-225-5324. Once you reach that number, you can choose option four, and that will take you to where you need to be in that call tree. I want to ensure the public that your local, state, and federal law enforcement officials will continue to uncover every stone to ensure that we find all the facts that pertain to these two individuals. I don't have all the answers now. I am going to take some questions. How are, are there other suspects, sir? Are there other suspects that you're looking Sorry. at? Sorry. How are these two individuals linked to terror? We still don't have the answer to that, but so far the answer is no. Wait, sir, are there other suspects that you were arrested by a, a terrorist fire? I don't have the answer to any direction. Were they inspired? We do not yet know the answer. You said something wonderful. Yeah, I'm not going to confirm that at this point. What is the sir, are there other suspects? That you've recovered since yesterday that now there's a number of there's a number of pieces of evidence that has has essentially pushed us off the cliff to say we are now investigating this as an act of terrorism. Sir, other suspects. No, I'm not going to get into that today. How are yes. there other suspects currently under arrest? Previously? There are no other suspects currently under arrest. It is possible there may be some in the future. We don't know. Sir, how important is potentially information you can find? on a hard drive, on a cell phone, in an investigation that now is focusing on terrorism? Good question. Yes. The, as important, if not more important, is are there others, and are they based in the U.S., are they outside the U.S.? We don't know the answers. With so many Do questions, you have any why indication was the media allowed the apartment? Do you believe they were planning a second attack somewhere? I don't want to speculate. It's certainly a possibility that we are looking at. So you believe that this was... Where did they get their orders from, or were they acting independently just with the idea that they were doing it for ISIS? That goes back to the direction question I took earlier. We do not know that, but we are looking very carefully into that. Do you, do you believe travel that was a big part of this? Do I believe travel was a big part of this? overseas travel that he did a big part of this? I don't know. Do he traveled overseas in 2013. Hey, do you have a money angle where, where the money came from for this? Remember, all these resources you see back here, that's why we're utilizing all of those in partnership to try to find every piece of evidence that's out there from digital media, which should lead us hopefully to motivation, to connections via phone, emails, anything like that, to uh, human intelligence that may give us some. That's where we're going. Do you believe that this may have not initially been a target? Do you have, have you we don't know. So, Are you moving toward the idea that this is a case of self-representation? We don't know yet. It's, it's certainly a possibility, but we do not know yet. And for some reason, it got moved December 7th, you said? Yes. Yes, I, I don't know any reason it was on that day. <laughs> Yes, and I don't have any information that indicates that, no. Sir, there anything there, what do you have to say to that? They question the veracity of their locations. Okay, so yes, yeah, good question. Yesterday, I said to you, the FBI is an organization that is apolitical. We are a fact-finding organization, and we deal in facts. I don't have all those facts yet, so I don't know the answer to the question you just asked me. There are news tell us that the ISIS has claimed responsibility. Do you have uh, anything on this? Uh, not an, not unusual on that they website, would. On their website, they are marked. Their, that's their official website where they post all their videos. They they claim responsibility. I'm I'm not surprised. I've not heard of that yet, but I'm not surprised if they would claim. Maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. Uh, but again, it, it only helps them to be able to attach themselves to an act like this. I don't sure, know the answer. Know about the they the rifles. Is someone detained that gave them the rifles? There is a person of. There is. We don't know. Okay, let me go back on that one. The person is not under arrest at this point. Are they, so they are in custody, being questioned. They're not under arrest at this point. Why do you think they stopped shooting inside that room? I don't know the answer. 
that Facebook post the day that they pledge allegiance to either ISIS or Baghdadi or any other principle connected to uh, I saw the same thing you did. We don't know what's there yet. How long are you planning about the dynamic of, of foreign sites? I've been asked that, and I don't know the answer, but I don't know the answer. But what you've learned about her, has that influenced your belief? I'm going to take three more questions, and then I'm going to end it. They were under the radar. They were flying under the radar. Pardon me? Are you concerned that they were flying under the radar, that you didn't know that they were, that they were acting? Well, of course I'm concerned. Any one of us would love to have stopped this act. When you go into a crime scene like that, it's one of the most heinous things you'll ever see. It's horrific. That so, you had no, no, no awareness that you weren't tracking them, that they weren't on your radar? Of course I'm concerned. We didn't know. There's nothing that we've seen yet that uh, would have triggered us to know. The government is spending so much yes, money on surveillance. Do you believe in the existence of a cell? Pardon me? Do you believe in the existence of a cell? We, do, we don't know. What I can tell you is we are not aware of any further threats in, in the U.S. at this time. Sir, Next sir, question. No, Last question. Yes, ma'am. Speak to this community who is now listening to this transition that this is indeed. We are with you. We stand by you. We are focused. The FBI's number one mandate is to protect the homeland from attack, and we will absolutely engage whenever we see potential threats. As the director has said many times, we have a number of terrorism investigations across the country currently that are going on. That does include extensive surveillance. So what I would tell the community, to answer your question completely, is I would tell them, continue to do what you do. If you see things that are concerning, push them up to local law enforcement immediately. If they rise to a certain level or if you want to push it to both the FBI and local law enforcement, feel free to do that. These are your protectors. So, so when you but do up? as you do normally. Go about your day. Do not let this cause mass hysteria. We're not there. We're not there at all. We have a long-term, very complex investigation that we have to complete, and that's going to take time and a lot of energy and a lot of hours and a lot of agency expertise. But I assure the, I assure the American public we will do everything in our power within the law to get that done. Thank so you for your time.